Hi y'all, welcome to my shop. I want to talk to you today about how you can have more fun with wood turning. And that's join a wood turning club. I belong to a wood turning club. Matter of fact, I've, I've belonged to three of them. And I think you should too, and I want to explain why. Wood turning clubs are called different things in different, uh, in different places. Sometimes they're called wood turning clubs. Sometimes they're called wood turning gills. Sometimes they're called wood turning chapters. Uh, in the United States, there are over 300 uh, chapters associated with the American Association of Wood, wood Turning and there are many more chapters throughout the world. Some of them belong to the American Association of Wood Turners and some of them some of them don't. Wood turning clubs are for anybody that's interested in wood turning. Clubs have a very wide variety of membership. They've got everything from uh, novice, novice turners, uh, more active uh, experienced turners like myself. There's wood turning artists, wood turning professionals, uh, some clubs have a lot of what I call inactive hobbyists. They're folks that come to the meeting and enjoy the meeting and the camaraderie, but maybe they don't even turn. Uh, maybe they never turned, or they turned at one time and their health prevents them, or they just uh, don't have time to clean out their shop and turn, but they still come, come to the meetings. Most of the members tend to be a little bit older. Many are retired. Uh, the majority of them, I would say, are, are, are men. Uh, most clubs have, uh, have some women and the American Association of Wood Turners are working hard to engage more women in wood turning. Many clubs have student memberships to encourage younger, younger members. So why should you join a club? The main reason is learning. Clubs uh, almost always have opportunities for learning. That's everything from demonstrations, which I'll talk about a little bit later, hands-on workshop, informal training, and formal training. There's lots of other experienced members that are willing to help you out. Some have opportunities where you can get together with other turners and turn in their shop. Some have uh, paid, uh, paid or unpaid formal all-day workshops to, to learn. Some of them have all-day demonstrations to learn about new things about wood turning. Clubs also give you access to a lot of different wood turners for feedback and for, for assistance. Frank Bowers, as shown in this picture, has taught over 600 classes uh, on bowl turning. So that's a lot of expertise. Most turners tend to be men, but there are a lot of skilled wood, women wood turners out there, and the American Association of Wood Turners, is, like I mentioned, is trying to increase the number. I've taken a couple of workshops with, on pyrography with Cynthia Gibson. I've had workshops with Peg Schmidt, Barbara Dill, and Ashley Harwood. I've watched demonstrations by other noted women uh, turners such as Betty Scarpino and Dixie Biggs, just to mention a few. I've learned a tremendous amount from, uh, from learning opportunities through the clubs, especially workshops. I've had workshops with uh, David Ellsworth and John Jordan on hollow forms. Richard Raffin on basic wood turning techniques, Stuart Batty with wood turn on wood turning technique. Uh, I've had classes on box making with uh, Ray Key and Jimmy Clues. Had a wonderful class with Chris Ramsey on hat making. Here are some extra benefits from belonging to a wood turning club. You've got opportunities not only how to learn how to turn, but also as you uh, develop opportunities to teach others, whether it's uh, young kids or fellow, fellow uh, uh, chapter members. You've got opportunities to demonstrate. You've got opportunities to be a, a club officer or work on their website or work on the newsletter. There's just lots of different uh, areas that uh, belonging to a club can, can lead you in. Access to wood. This is a great benefit, especially to novice, uh, novice turners. Uh, most clubs have raffles and uh, where you buy raffle tickets and you get an opportunity to win a, a piece of wood. And in many instances, uh, members will bring up a pickup truck full of wood uh, in excess of their needs to, for free just to, to pick up. Another benefit is just the opportunity to socialize with other uh, wood turners. Um, some clubs have uh, picnics, uh, they'll have uh, Christmas, uh, Christmas parties and other activities to uh, not only for the members to socialize but also with their to have their family members come, uh, come as well. Another advantage of belonging to clubs you learn more about uh, other tools, uh, some of the best uh, you know what tools you should buy, lathes. You learn a lot of information about what people turn on and what they like about their particular lathe or what they don't like and you've got an opportunity in many instances to buy a lathe uh, used from a fellow 
uh, chapter member that you wouldn't even know about otherwise because a lot of lays are sold from by word of mouth uh, within clubs. Vendor discounts. Many clubs uh, have arranged for discounts with, with various vendors on, on wood and wood turning uh, related uh, tools and accessories. How do clubs operate? Well, each club is unique and different, but I've noticed there's a number of similarities. First of all, the dues are very modest. Sometimes dues aren't even the major uh, way that the club uh, brings, in, brings in money. Many clubs have libraries full of uh, uh, DVDs uh, and books that can help you out. Even in today, uh, today with YouTube, uh, sometimes these are handy for some, some folks. Most clubs encourage members to bring in their work and, and present it and show it to the rest of the group in something we call instant gallery or show and tell. And if you like, you can get feedback from more experienced woodturners or how you can do better on the next, uh, next item you turn. Clubs meet in a wide variety of locations. Let me just cover a few. Mountain Laurel, the Alabama Woodturning Association, and the Northwest Georgia Woodturners meet in senior centers. I've de demonstrated at several clubs that meet in woodturning clubs, including the Palmetto Woodturner at Man Tools, uh, Gwinnett Woodturning that meet at, at Peachtree, Atlanta Woodturning Guild that meets at the local local Woodcraft. Uh, I've demonstrated at, at Middle Georgia down in Macon that meet in a, uh, a facility similar to a Habitat for Humanity uh, uh, renovation store. Classic City Wood Turners in Athens, Georgia meet in an art center. The Bi City Turner, the Bi City Wood Turners in Columbus, Georgia, and the West Tennessee uh, Wood Turners in Jackson, Tennessee uh, meet at a local local uh, uh, college. Barnesville Wood Turners I've demonstrated at uh, are now meeting in the basement of a church. Some clubs like the uh, Tri State Turners at uh, Snotty Daisy, Tennessee, meet in a uh, a woodworking related uh, uh, business uh, shop. And lots of clubs meet in the, uh, uh, the, the shop of one of the, one of the members. A typical uh, meeting agenda is they have a, uh, a short um, a business meeting. They try to keep that very short. Again, they'll have that instant gallery where they'll, you can present your pieces uh, for show and tell and uh, they'll have a brief uh, raffle sometime during the meeting. And then the main uh, event of most uh, clubs is a demonstration. It generally runs maybe an hour and a half, maybe, maybe longer depending on when the uh, club meets. Sometimes it's by a club member, but frequently by, it's by a skilled or noted woodturner from out of town. The demonstrations cover a wide variety of, of woodturning projects and expertise, and it could be on sharpening or basic tool work or a specific project like uh, 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 threading or embellishing or, or dyeing or coloring or how to make a, a, a vase uh, or segmentation work. It could just be just about on, on almost anything. Uh, how to turn Norfolk Island pine. When do clubs meet? Generally in, in areas like uh, I'm most familiar with in the, in the metropolitan Atlanta area, they tend to meet at, at night. Uh, the meeting lasts about two hours because that's most of the people aren't driving that terribly far to get to a meeting because there's so many clubs in the area. In, in more uh, rural and less densely populated areas, I've noticed that clubs tend to meet on a weekend, typically on, on a Saturday, and the meetings tend to be a little bit longer. The demonstrations tend to be a little bit longer, and there's more opportunities to interact with other, uh, other club members. So where are the clubs? Well, if you'll go to the woodturner.org page site and, clip on, and click on the uh, chapters uh, tab, you can click on a map and you can see where the chapters are around the, uh, the world, around the United States. Here's an example of where they are in the, the North Georgia area and including my, my main club, the Chattahoochee Wood, Woodturners in Belmont, which is near, near Gainesville, Georgia. If you can't find a club nearby, what are your options? Well, the American Association of Woodturners does have a couple of virtual chapters, one on pen making and one on uh, segmentation work. Consider starting a club. Um, American Association of Woodturners can provide a lot of resources, including uh, bylaws, officer duties, uh, best practices on, on how, to, how to run a club. Uh, they can also provide a very low cost liability insurance in the United States, which uh, can ease the mind of, of some people that uh, might be more concerned about, about liability. Okay, I hope I've 
I hope I've talked you into, into joining or possibly starting, starting a club. If you're not a member, uh, if you're not a subscriber, please click the subscribe button and, and ring the bell so you'll be notified when I release a, another video. Safe turning.